Hey guys, what's going on? So today we are discussing the New Year's event, the New Year's fortune, and yeah. I decided I'm probably not going to do the summons this time around because uh, after looking a bit more at the heroes, I'm not too interested in any of them except maybe the archer. I don't really have the resources to raise another hero at the moment anyway. I still have a few that I want to get up first. And the last batch with Scarlet, Sonia, and Miriana, I'm not too interested in either. So it'd really just be Ophelia, I believe. It might actually be Requina. Ophelia is the... Yeah, I actually meant Requina. She'd be the only one I'm really interested in out of those six. So the chances of getting hers or getting a unique open at all probably aren't really in my favor. So I'm going to wait until the next batch um, of heroes and the next uh, raid up to do that. But we do have a free one here. Let's go ahead and go for assassins. I'm kind of kind of trying to get a good assassin going at one point. I don't really have any assassins. Well, we got 50 of those. Better than a piece of gear. But anyway, today we're talking about the new event going on. Going to talk about a little bit how it works and all of that. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You play for 30 minutes, you get these four rewards. A single summon, some tickets to spend here, and a little pouch. And after seven days, you get this artifact, which is actually a very interesting artifact. It's 10% crit chance and 20% crit damage. And as far as I know, it's unconditional. So it's just 10% crit chance, 20% crit damage. You don't need to do anything for it. It'll just be there. So it's actually a very good artifact, actually. It's actually almost exactly like this Opportune Strike crit perk. It's a little bit weaker. So uh, Opportune Strike is 150 crit and 30% crit damage. Did that actually get buffed? I thought it was 20% crit damage before. Um, but yeah, so maybe if you get it to one star, it'll be about the same as Opportune Strike. I don't know if it'll go up that high, but regardless, the artifact is pretty good. So the event is for sure worth doing, and it's very easy anyway. You just run 30 minutes somewhere. It only counts the time you're actually running, so not like the loading screens or the end screen. So you probably have to run for about, I don't know, 45 minutes total. So it's very easy. And with these little tickets here, you can go into the event shop and buy things over here in the New Year's event shop. Uh, you can get Rainbow Fortune, 100 of those, a random unique weapon, one of those, an, a random artifact, you can get one of those, uh, Enchant Box, Deluxe Potions, Stamina Potions. The only thing there's not a limit on are the Stamina Potions, so we're going to buy 60 of these Rainbow Fortune pockets so we have something to open, uh, because I'm sure we will be able to get the random unique weapon and the artifact as well. There, I believe there's enough time left on the event, uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that. It looks like we'll be able to get, like, what, 60? or 50 yeah 60 should work and i believe we have one from completing it i don't know why but we actually got 600 yesterday and today i think there is another 300 you get just from something i don't know but it seems you get 600 a day for whatever reason also we're going to be buying 10 of these just because i know it's probably not really worth it because it can contain gold and stardust which aren't worth 2500 rubies but we're going to do it just for the sake of the video and as a little sample size test. Maybe we get unlucky, maybe maybe we don't get unlucky, but, but we also get 250 more of these tickets because, you know, you can spend up to 10,000 rubies and get an extra 1,000 of those tickets. So we can actually buy a few more of these actually as well. So, you know, it's okay. So let's start with the 73 Rainbow Fortune Pockets. You can actually get one of the artifacts here. You can actually see it here, 100 crit. To, uh, 20 crit damage. There are also some other pretty good things in here, you know, uh, Ancient Rune and some key bundles, loot boosters, EXP, gold, uh, so yeah. But there are also not good things like 100 magic powder. I think that's what I got with my first one, and that was like, what the hell? What is the point? Also, the random skill books and the gold aren't interesting, and that's probably most of what you're going to get. So we're going to go ahead and open 50 at once. Looks like we got uh, like 500 and, ooh, 560 uh, fragments. We got an upper dungeon key pack, three ancient royal vault, a stockade, some skill books, stardust, a loot booster. Okay, pretty cool. So, all in all, I'm actually quite satisfied. 560 random fragments. We still have 23 to go. Let's go ahead and do it. No... Ooh, we got an ancient rune over there. No artifact, unfortunately. Let's check out this ancient rune real quick. Attack, 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 attack. It's not attack. It's like freaking P-dodge. Okay. We're also going to go ahead and open these 11 things. You can see the drop list here. Um, again, there is magic powder, gold, and skill books, which aren't good. But there's also, you know... 
better things like more key bundles, loot boosters, EXP gold boosters, and the artifact, which again, we probably won't get, but you know, also unique open fragments. Let's go ahead and just open them. We got heroic runes, geez, really? All right, so 2,500 rubies, not worth it. At least this pull, maybe I got unlucky, but um, you know, two one day gold boosters, a royal treasury key bundle, some unique open shards, a loot booster, 15 stamina potions. So I mean, the loot booster alone is worth 500 rubies. Um, everything else, though, isn't worth a combined total of 2,000 by any stretch of the imagination. Let's go ahead and open up these random fragments. Um, that they're random, so there's nothing too exciting there, I guess. But yeah, so my thoughts are save your rubies. Don't buy that. <laughs> it's like the Halloween stuff, but way worse, because I think with the Halloween pumpkins, you could get two items out of a similar drop list. And um, so that was kind of more worth it, but this isn't really, in my opinion. So uh, personally, I would stay away from it. We also got two world boss boxes. Let's go ahead and open up those. Let's get some awesome stuff up in here. Quite awesome indeed. We were actually in the top 10 yesterday. Quite surprising, because uh, we got 1,600 of those uh, things. We're probably not in top 10 anymore since it's uh, been a while. Oh no, we're actually rank eight currently still. Quite cool indeed. Michael LP told me I'm bad at world boss. He's probably right. I mean, he has double my damage. Actually, as a side note, I now want to check. If he has like any five star unique weapons, I'm going to kind of be like, well, dude, that's the reason. So let's see what's going on with you, Michael LP. All right, he also has only a three star unique weapon on Mitra and a one star. This is actually this like same exact Mitra I have, to be honest. Maybe he has better stats. He has like 4% attack on the enchant there and there, and crit damage here and here. So it's like, well, you know, you have better enchants, man. Two star unique weapon on Theo, two star on Mediana, one. Well, I also have one star on Gladi. But Kaula and Lorraine, so those two together probably, you know, do something. You know, <laughs> I'm sure it's not just my skills. Okay, well, yeah. I mean,. His score for what he has is actually very impressive, I have to say. This is a very weird subtopic. Trying to address my insecurities, it didn't work. All right, well, you win this round, Michael. Did We'll see about next time, if if there is one. Still didn't give me any useful advice, though. He just told me I'm bad at world boss on my last video. I mean, come on, man. You know, if you're going to be like that, uh, at least be constructive. Anyway, back to the topic. There's actually not too much else to say. Uh, these Rainbow Fortune packets, I think it might be worth it to go for all 100 of those. I mean, it, we did get a loot booster, a few different key bundles, so pretty cool. I mean, it costs 20, and you should be able to get the other good stuff as well. So the random unique up and the artifact piece and the enchant boxes, probably. Um, so if we're getting like 600 a day, and it says here it's going for another 13 and a, and a half days, so let's say 14 days, so let's say it's 15 days total. That means assuming we get 600 every day, that's 9,000 points over the course of the whole thing, so we should actually easily be able to get the random unique weapon, the artifact pieces, and all the rainbow fortune. The rainbow fortune is going to be 2,000, 3,000 for this. 4,500 with the intermediate enchant box brings it up to about 5,300. So then we could actually spend the rest on either XP potions if you really want them or just or just spam stamina potions, which are unlimited. So yeah, I would go for this. I would just go for everything actually because we should have enough points and you don't need to be pressured into spending rubies for those extra 1,000 because I don't think it's necessary as long as you're doing the event. Unless of course the event stops when we get the seven days for the pendant. If that's the case, which I kind of doubt it would be, but if that is the case, then it's a much different story. So all in all, it's a pretty eh event again, unfortunately, because uh, really there's not much to do. You just play normally and you get rewards, like the New Year's event. Maybe we'll see something a little bit more interesting with the Valentine's event coming in a few days. I'll check that out as well. But for now, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, that'll do it. Make sure to tell me what you think about this event in the comments down below. Leaving a like if you did happen to enjoy would be greatly appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching. And until next time.